I welcome you all the students in the lecture series of Digital Fundamental Digital Electronics. In last session, we discussed about the sum of mean terms or you can say that sum of product. Today, we will discuss the product of maxim or product of or function or product of sum. This is also known as a, a canonical and standard form. In mean terms, we consider the end operator. Here in max term, we will consider OR operator. Suppose I have a two variable X and Y. So these two variable and OR operator use. So there is a four possibility. First is X or Y. Second is X or Y dash. Third combination is X dash or Y. And fourth combination is X dash or Y dash. So these all four conditions are known as a max terms or standard sums. Here remember that thing n variable. So there is a two raised to n max terms are there. In this example, there is a two variable. So four combinations are there. If there is a three variable x, y, z, so there is a eight combinations are there, two raised to three. And if a four variable w, x, y, z, so at that time 2 raised to 4, 16 combinations are max terms possible. It will indicate it like as a capital M and in abstract we did J. J is from 0 to 2 raised to n minus 1. Like as in the mean terms, we use the small m. Here we use the capital M to designate max terms. Let's see for the three variable. The first combination 0, 0, 0. So x or in y or in z is equal to max term m0. 0, 0, 0, 1. So 1 is replaced by z dash and 0 is x and y. So x or y or z dash, it's m1. 0, 1, 0. It will become x, y dash or z, m2 max term. 0, 1, 1. x or in y dash or in z dash, m3 max term is there. 1, 0, 0, x dash or y dash or z, m4 max term. 1, 0, 1, x dash, y or in z dash. It is known as m5 max term. 1, 1, 0, uh, it is x dash or in y dash or in z, m6 max term is there. And if all three are 1, it will become x dash or in y dash or in z dash. M7 term is there. Now, see, let's take one example, max term function. Suppose the function is given f1 is equal to x dash or in y dash or in z ended with x or in y dash or in z dash ended with x, y, x or in y or in z. So, dash is always considered as a 1. So this will become 1, 1, 0. It will become M6. 0, 1, 1. It will become M3. 0, 0, 0. It will become M0. So if we take the end operator of this max term, whatever M0, M3 and X6, in this way, it will become 0 and remaining combination, it is 1. So remember that thing, it is a complement of the mean terms. In max term, the f is 0 in particular combination, while in remaining combination, it is 1. Okay, remember that thing. In mean terms, 0 is indicated by x dash, while here in max term, 0 is indicated by x and 1 is indicated by x dash. So, it's a complement of the function. And this you can see in from this table. Here table is shown that M0 to M7 are different 7 combination. Only M0, M3 and 6, the result is 0. Remaining, the result is 1. Here, mean terms is always indicated by uh, 1, a small m, by max term is indicated by capital M. Uh, for the interim, uh, index, the mean term or max term, whatever, our binary number is to determine whether the variable is shown in the true form or complemented. 
लाइक ए सपोज द मीन टर्म इज दैन सो इट इज अंड ऑपरेटर वन एंड जीरो वन इज अ नॉट कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड फॉर्म एंड जीरो इज अ कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड जीरो 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 मीन्स एच डेस एंडेड वाई डेस एंडेड जेड डेस बट इफ देर इज वन 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 इट विल बिकम एक्स वाई जेड इन मैक्स टर्म जीरो इज इंडिकेटेड बाई नॉट कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड ओके सपोज जीरो 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 सो इट विल बिकम एक्स और वाई और जेड While if one 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 uh, x des or in y des or in z des, let's understood uh, deeply about the max term. Suppose the Boolean function is given x y or in x des z des. So we apply the distributive law first to expand that things. Remember that first we have to make all the Uh, terms in form of all three variable here x y z so what i will do i will need uh, expand this by distributive law so this x y and x dash z so x y or in x dash and x y or in z okay now again this function this will become x x dash and x dash y while x y or in z will become x or in z and y or in z as you know that this first function will become one so we can remove it and we got the three function x des y it's just i'm rearranging first x y and z so x des y x des x or in z and y or in z now here after three function there is required add one suppose i want to here add one so it will become x des y z remember that thing each bracket have require all three variable x y z so each all term is missing one variable in this example like is in this first one z is missing second one y is missing and third one x is missing how we can use this thing so apply the distributive law here x des y first function my it will become x des or in y or in z z des if i or z z des it will become zero so zero is identity element so what what happen x des or y or in z z des is equal to similar x des or y now this z and z des as per the distributive law it will become x des y or in z and second bracket will become x des y or in z des so means here or in z and or in z des it will be come expand to two function each term will expand into two function Let's take one second one. Second bracket is x or in z, so it will become y and y des. In one function x or in y or in z, and second term is x or in y des or in z. And the third our variable y or in z, this term x is missing, so x x des is added. So it will become again expand into two function. One is x or in y or in z, and second term is x des or in y or in z. So we got six from these three bracket, and we combined it. So see here, x or in y or in z, it is duplicated two times. So here it is one time, and remaining one, two, three, four, x des y z, x des y z des, x y des z, x y des z, and this last one, x des y z is come again. First and third term is common. So out of six, we got the two terms are common. So two terms are left, and finally we got one, two, three, and four bracket. Four max terms are there. X, Y, Z, Z is zero. Zero, one, zero. It will become two. One, zero, zero is M four, and one, zero, one is M five. So my function f1 is the product of max term m0, m2, m4, and m5, and it will become indicated uh, a function uh, like is in mean mean terms. We use the sigma here. We use the pi. Pi is the meaning of product. It is a shortcut of product. And how many terms are con connected? Zero, two, four, and five. These all four functions are connected. So it is called a product of max terms. Let's take one another example. 
here we consider the function f2 is a two function a b and b dash c so as as the in previous example here c is missing so c or c dash in the second a and missing so we are ordering a a dash and as the the distributive law it will become in four bracket a dash b c a dash b c dash a b dash c a or in b dash or in c or a dash plus b dash plus c so this four function um, put the binary complement is directly one and zero next term is always complemented function so one zero zero one zero one zero one zero and one one zero so equal to the it will become the one zero zero is four five two and six adding in descending order we got the f2 is m2 and that m4 and that m5 and it is m6 means four mixed terms are there and it will become also can be written like as in f2 is pi in bracket 2 4 5 6 this four mixed terms are there conversion between the both polynomial form sum of mixed term or product of mean terms suppose here sigma sigma is the sum of uh, mean terms are given and I want to convert it to the product of max terms. So it's simply complement. Here, when I will take f dash first complement, f dash is equal to 0, 2, 3, remaining all m0, m2, m3. What happened? As per the De Morgan's theorem, the complements complemented function itself. So f equal to m0 dash, m2 dash, m3 dash, m0 dash dash, or operator is replaced by dot. And m0 d is, is equal to max term m0, m2, and m3. So remember that thing that using the complement and de Morgan's theorem, we can directly convert from sum of mean terms to the product of max term or SOM to POM or POM to SO in reverse order. So always remember that thing the complement of mean terms is a max term. M small m complement is always capital M and which we already proved that if there is a given the 0 to 4 5 this is one example 0 to 4 5 is a max term so the min terms is 1 3 6 7 remaining all four terms are min terms which satisfied the same functionality uh, in some time in the gate there is asked this, this type of the question to find out that things so remove that thing uh, with the help of a single steps, we can convert the functionality here. This is the second one example. Suppose the function is given y dash z w x y dash dot w x z dash w dash x dash z. Here it asks sum of product, mean terms directly we can utilize it. So first understood, which one is the shortcut method? So here we, we directly find out the mean terms. So first we will find out win terms and then complement it will become directly give us the max term. Don't go to convert into the orange functionality. So first y dash z dash w x y z here two variables are missing and remaining all three the one variable are missing. So again y dash z dash will become x y dash z dash or in x dash y dash z dash x and x dash is or in z in it will become one. While w x y dash will become convert z and z dash, these two terms are expand from this. W x z dash y is missing, so y and y dash. These two literals we are getting from this one expansion of this one. W x dash z dash. W dash x dash z y is missing, so y and y dash. So these two functions we are expand from this one. Again, in the first two, the two are missing w. So w and w dash will be added in first and second terms. So finally we got total eight terms are there. Okay. Here one, two, so about three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight terms are there. Now compare it. W, X, Y dash. This yellow and it is repeated again. Red w dash x y dash z again the fourth function is similar and last function is similar so we can make it common to minimize it y w x dash y dash z 
yellow or repeated green w x y z it is again repeated so finally we got only seven term one two three four five six seven okay so one two three four that many terms we are missing we are uh, minimize it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten out of 10 we are just reducing this function to 6 so 4 terms are reduced so our we can get the minimum min terms are there and after comparing that things uh, in min terms it is directly w is represented by 1 and w dash is represented by 0 and putting it an equivalent to the binary value 1101 is equal to 13 0101 is 5 one double zero one is nine. One one zero zero is converted to the min terms twelve. Triple one zero is converted into min terms fourteen, three and one in this order. Arranging the descending order, we got the sum of min terms is uh, which contain one three five seven nine twelve thirteen and fourteen. So total eight min terms are there. We can put in segments. Now it's a sum of product term. So sum of product term is simply complemented. Start from 0. 0. If the term is not in min terms, we can add 0. 1 is there, so 1 is not there. 2, 3 is there. So it is not in product term. 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 15. In this way, we can identify the min terms or max terms. Convert into the other conical form. Suppose here, product of max term is given. <coughs> so in single all remaining 0 1 2 3 4 so 5 6 is that so no, don't put it 7 8 10 11 9 9 is missing here it is misprinted so 9 is, uh, will be there 10 11 12 is there so we are we will not calculate 13 14 15 okay suppose the function is given in this way so here this product term is there so what, what we will do we will find the, the product of summation, expand it as we already explained it and expand it up to the three variable. Each bracket is converted to three variable and then put the value here. We minimize it, minimizing the four terms because x, y or z, it is repeated here, this one. Okay, also here. So three times it is repeated. So we are taking one time x dash y z repeated term x dash y z x y z is also already concluded x y z dash is here already covered x y z is covered and x dash y z is also covered. so we got four max terms 0 0 0 and all four max terms are there m 0 2 1 and 4 and if we want to convert into min terms remaining four terms are con considered as a min terms is a complementary of mixed terms it is known as a min terms okay so i hope is it making sense that how we can get it into the other form after min terms m3 is x dash y z x y dash z x y z and x y z so both functionality f5s are similar in this way we can make the standard form in product of Next term, I hope is it making sense and you have got the perfect idea about the product of max terms.